Hey guys, in this video, we're going to see how to use the first frame and last frame feature of WAN 2.2 i2v. This feature gives us more control over the direction and flow of the videos we generate. To create the last frame, we'll be using QN Image Edit 2509 with a LoRa called Next Scene LoRa. The download link for the LoRa is in the description. When you visit the link, you'll find a file called Next Scene LoRa v1-3000. Tensors. Download it and place it inside the LoRa's folder of your comfy UI. So let's get started. I already have a first frame, so let's see how we can create the last frame. Let's switch over to Comfy UI. In Comfy UI, you can see that I have added the next scene LoRa in between the Lightning LoRa and the model sampling Aura flow. You can get this workflow from the description. When using this LoRa, the recommended strength is between 0.7 and 0.8. Here, I am using 0.7. Then, in Load Image 1, I've loaded the first frame, which was created using Flux 1 Crea. For the positive prompt, I have typed, Next scene colon, camera taking a low angle shot, showing a woman bending to pick up a damaged smartphone. To use the next scene LoRa, we always need to start the prompt with the words next scene colon, followed by the desired camera movement, then the character movement. After that, you can specify the lighting setup and any environment changes you want. So, now let's run the workflow and see the result. The generation is completed. Now let's take a look at the image. As you can see here, she is picking up a phone and I think it is damaged. Now let's save this image. Although Comfy UI already saved this image in its outputs folder, for this tutorial I just want to save it to another location. So let's save it. Right click and click on save image. We'll save it to the pictures folder. Let's name it last frame, then click on save. So according to my script, when she picks up the phone, the camera will simultaneously move upward, showing an aerial view of damaged buildings. To show this, I'm going to create another frame. For this frame, I wrote a prompt. Let's copy it from the notepad and use it in the positive prompt field. Just like before, the prompt starts with next scene colon, followed by the type of camera movement I want. I also wrote a description of the view I want. So let's run the workflow and wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's take a look at it. As you can see here, I got a nice aerial view. If we don't like the result, we can generate another image. In my case, I think this is a good result. In my experience with WAN 2.2 i2v, the first and last frame feature works best when both frames share some elements. If they're too different, the AI may struggle, sometimes producing simple or awkward transitions like those you'd see in video editors. When that happens, it's usually best to either generate a new last frame or refine your prompt to guide the AI better. So let's save the image. I'm going to name it Aerial Shot. Click on Save. Now let's switch to the WAN GP tool for using WAN 2.2. So here I've already selected the WAN 2.2 image to video 14B in model selection list. Let's scroll down. I have selected Start Video with Image. To use the last frame, enable the End Images option. Then, under Images as starting points for new videos, we will set the first frame. I'm going to select the image of the woman standing and click Open. Next, let's scroll down to Images as Ending Points and set the last frame. We'll click on Click to upload here. Let's select the image of the lady picking up the phone from the ground, which we previously created using QN Image Edit. Now let's scroll down to the prompts field. Here, we need to type a description of the animation we want. In my case, the woman picks up a phone from the ground, which I've written in my notepad. So let's copy that and use it in the prompts field. Under category, I'll be using 480p. For the resolution budget, I'll be using the 16 by 9 format. I will set the number of frames to 81. For the number of inference steps, I'm going to use four. In some cases, I suggest using five or six for better quality. Finally, for advanced mode, I'm using the settings I detailed in another video about WAN 2.2 i2v. So let's scroll up now and click the generate button, then wait for the result. So guys, the generation is finished. Let's play the video and see the result. As you can see, she bends and picks up the phone. Next, we're going to extend this video. We want the camera to move upward to show the aerial view of the buildings. Since we already created a frame for that, let's see how we can use it to extend this generated video. For that, we can use two options, either continue video or continue last video. However, right now, the continue last video option isn't working, so we'll use the continue video option. So let's download the current generated video. 
click on the download button. I'm going to save this video as scene 01, then click on save. Also, guys, you don't have to save the generated videos as they are always saved in the WAN GP outputs folder. I'm just doing it for this tutorial. Now, under video to continue, let's click on click to upload. Select the video we just saved and click open. Next, let's scroll down and remove the existing last image from images as ending points. Then, let's choose the photo of the aerial shot and click open. Then, let's go to the prompts field. Here, we need to type a description of the animation we want. I want the camera to move upward to take an aerial shot while she is picking up the phone. I wrote about this in my notepad, so let's copy and use it in the prompts field. For the other options below, I'm going to use the previous settings, which will extend the video by adding five seconds of newly generated video. Now let's scroll up and click on generate and then wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, the result is really nice. First, the woman picks up the phone and then the camera moves upward, showing the aerial view of the damaged buildings. We can extend this video even further by using another frame. You can continue extending it this way, depending on your needs. Also, we can save these settings for later use. Let's see how we can save the settings. First, let's choose the start video with image option. Then, select and delete all the text that says enter her a name or a Laura preset or a settings or choose one. Then type WAN 2.2 first frame and last frame. Then click on the save button and then click go ahead, save it. Finally, click on the refresh button. Now, we can choose the settings we just saved from the list for future use. Also, if we scroll to the bottom of the page, there is an option for loading settings from the generated video, which is also really useful. So that's it guys. Try it yourself and create more videos using the WAN GP tool. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.